Good morning and welcome to the Joseph Apartment Talk Show. We have some fabulous guests today and I'm going to introduce them in a second, but I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions on your apartment building, maintenance, how to sell it, taxes, insurance, uh, tips on management, tips on uh, maintenance, give me a call. Happy to connect you with one of the fantastic. We have 50 guests, 50 rotating guests that come in and give advice uh, by this talk show. So thank you for joining us. Today joining us is Elisa Weber, uh, CFO, Chief Financial uh, Assistant and Director of Operations, Senior Marketing Director, and Executive Vice President. So, that uh, good. if you need any information on properties and listings, she's the one that will probably respond to you. But I'm going to go left to right. We have uh, Candy, who is the uh, manager of the Ambassador Property Management Division. I've asked her to come in today. And uh, before she mentions anything, anytime you have a question on running your building, on maintenance, but also I think what's important is what other apartment owners are doing. If you want to know, okay, what are people thinking? What are they doing? She's in touch with them on a regular basis. So, Candy, thank you for coming. And what news do you have for the well, uh, investors? Thank you for having me. I wanted just to hit on this today. I've probably talked about this in the past but I was thinking this was important I think with our weather change the hot the cold mm -hmm. is bringing in our pests and they are pesty they our buildings are being challenged beyond challenged so candy mm -hmm. are you saying that because it's super hot mm -hmm. that the bugs are out looking for water or looking for moisture you know I or? believe I believe that's the case talking to our pest controls and I've heard in the industry uh, them speaking of challenges with their buildings and people, you know, owners of their buildings having the challenge. So are you looking, let's say there's a contract, is it a, do they just come by monthly or they come what by when it's unneeded or good, what's the benefit of a contract? Yeah, uh, what it's called, it's called a, uh, it's called a controlled service. So instead of just calling when needed, it's a service they, they offer and they'll come, you know, uh, set up a, a schedule with the tenants three times a month. And, and keep coming back until they have a control. Do they typically have the tenant call them or does the landlord call them or you call them to come out? What or I like to do is I like to coordinate with my owners uh, prior to any challenge we may have and I like to set them up irregardless if we have a challenge in our building or not. Talk to me about um, mm -hmm. what's going on with inspections then. So you manage mm -hmm. your property, how often do you go out there mm -hmm. and what do you do? Well, I like to go out twice a year and just see if the people are taking care of the structure. If they're messy bugs, whatever, we're not looking for that. We're looking for structure items and that's to keep our investment of our owners in good shape. So that's that's really what I look at when I go out. So someone uh, calls you, you could hook them up with a termite company, the oh, inspection yes. company. Yes, pest control, bugs, absolutely. cockroaches, everything. Oh yes. Thank you. Thank you for What's your phone number? Uh, my office number is area code 562-236-0102. Thank you, Candy. And now we have Richard Trujillo, our famous insurance guy. Uh, Richard, anything new going on with uh, farmers insurance on apartments? Actually, nothing new, but to, just to tag on the inspections, uh, we are getting calls about infestations. And um, a lot of the things you can do, some of that created because there's moisture in the walls and sometimes there's mm -hmm. leaks that they don't even know about. So the inspections are very, very important on those mm -hmm. apartment buildings. And uh, I just wanted to reiterate on that. Now, as far as insurance goes, uh, you see the commercials, people, they're well known, farmers bump it up a bump, mm -hmm. but it's true. If you don't understand your coverage, there's going to be a surprise, and our motto is if there's going to be a surprise, we want to know before there's a claim, not after. So talk with your agent. If you don't have a good rapport with them, give us a call. No obligation. We'll explain to you how insurance works. A good thing, we had a claim, uh, or the request for a claim, the guy had an apartment manager and he was giving him free rent. And in his mind, he thought, I don't have to cover him. He's not an employee, I'm just giving him free rent. He falls off a ladder. Oh. They get an attorney, there's a work comp claim. Mm -hmm. So any, if you have managers on site, you Good need point. to get workers comp. Yeah. workers comp. What about evaluation? If I get an insurance policy through farmers at a million dollars, and I think goes up to two, that gap, is that automatically covered or do you have to 
do you have to reapply the value, or is it just replacement value means whatever the market is? In case of a fire? Fire, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, our system is you put the square footage, how many bedrooms, how many baths, what amenities you have, and it comes up with the replacement cost. And then farmers, we give 125% over, and you can buy 150% over in mm -hmm. case we're off because building code upgrades. And you do umbrella policies too, We right? do umbrella policies, and that's part of the um, uh, understanding your coverage before you need it. So sometimes there's your policy, basic policy will have, we're going to cover this, this, and this. In the event of a lawsuit or a liability, <coughs> the umbrella fills in those gaps. One thing that I learned is how inexpensive umbrellas are when you cover a car and houses and apartments and everything. You get an umbrella and cover the whole thing. It's fairly fairly expensive. So if you're watching this, you can call uh, Richard and get your umbrella. Get and your umbrella open. I have a question because uh, I was looking at this here. Boy, that's something to tell these owners. Do we have time? We have time. Oh, this is uh, so important. Vacant yes, unbelievable. landlord property. If your property is vacant for more than 30 days and there's a claim there will be no coverage so wow. you have to notify your agent and get a vacancy permit and it's happened before yes. and how do they get started on that so, you, you communicate with your agent like a vacant unit or a vacant apartment building 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 sometimes hold. there's four four buildings on a lot uh -huh. and one of them's vacant uh -huh. That one won't be covered. Mm -hmm. Oh, good to know. Isn't that something? Well, I'm sorry to say, Lisa, Richard took your time, so you, you have nothing to say. <laughs> well, that was important. Thank you, Richard. And your phone number? 714-522-0081. you have questions on your existing policy, you want to pick an insurance person's brain, uh, Richard is very mm -hmm. reputable in our community. He is, He's at every single Chamber of Commerce grand opening. Uh, it's amazing. You are you always pop up. Wherever anything's going on, you're there. Well, I'm the president of the La Mirada Chamber of Commerce. You know? <laughs> Na shameless name dropper, too. <laughs> now we go to Dina Parsons from Fidelity Title. Alcantara. And uh, mm -hmm. Dina Alcantara, can you tell us what's going on in Title and how could an apartment owner benefit from your services? Sure. Hi, I'm Dina. Um, apartment builders, mostly when you purchase your apartment, you have uh, Title policies, which is your coverage to protect you and then if you're looking further once you own the property and of course you once you purchase it you have a policy but you want to get more information um, I, I, I forgot how large my lot is I forgot my lot lines I uh, more specific questions about your actual building uh, Jim and I have that information um, we provide that we buy that type of data and so we always have it at Jim and Lisa's fingertips so if you do uh, get into a circumstance where you go gosh I, I completely you know you know how many units you own of course because you're, you're collecting the revenue but there's a lot more specifics about the building uh, which paid for it maybe the prior owner there's things that come up within your taxes uh, I have all of that information for every single building out there within all of California and other states as well uh, across the United States and uh, Jim can provide that I can provide it to Jim and Jim can in turn as an agent I'm not a real estate agent so then he needs to give that information to you uh, but we have it available at your fingertips seven days a week thank you Dina so if you want information on your property as recorded with the county recorder or on another or others, building you're looking mm -hmm. at give me a call I can with Dina's help find out who owns it how many square feet when they purchased it, existing financing, everything. So thank you, Dina. Yeah, for, if you have, if you have it, a lot of times people want to own a building on the same street where they already own maybe an eight unit. And so if you know that there's uh, somebody that's owned that same model match eight unit down the street and you heard maybe they might be the family, maybe somebody's passed away and you get a tip, um, call Jim and Jim and I can research everything about that eight unit property that you don't own and maybe get you uh, into a conversation about owning that. And it's nice to know that sometimes those eight units, they've owned it for a long time and it's now been inherited. And so the kids just went out. You know, they, they might, and, and Jim can access that type of information. Did they buy it in 08 or did they buy it in 1988, right? Big difference sometimes when you're going to sell. Dina, can you show your business card to hold it on your, uh, on your cell phone there? Oh, yes. for, uh, for customers of mine, if you want a uh, business card holder, 
give me a call and maybe I can twist Dina's heart, mm -hmm. arm and business and get cards that for or you. credit cards. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. I rarely carry a purse anymore. Yes. So I'm sorry, Lisa. Richard stole your time today, so there's nothing for you to say. It's but if you right. call our office at the friendly voice on the other end of the line, on the phone, or on the other end of the email is Lisa, and she has no time to talk because Richard stole her time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yay, this Richard. episode has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance, Richard Trujillo, <laughs> best insurance in the West, mm -hmm. and uh, I appreciate you watching, and thank you for coming, Whoa. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for having us. Thank you.